Hello, Jason Good Your Works here, back for another review, and today I'm reviewing set number 30280. It's part of the Lego movie theme, of course it's a poly bag, it's recommended for ages 6 to 12, has 33 pieces, one minifigure, and it doesn't retail for anything because in the US, you would actually get this as a shop at home promo by spending, uh, I think it's $50 at like the Lego store or online during the month of January, or in the month of February. So if you want to get this, that's really the only way you could get it for now. Uh, I know for a lot of other promos, they have recently have been releasing them in stores, so maybe later this year this will be released in stores. But at the moment, I'm pretty sure around the world, it's just a threshold promo at LEGO Shop at Home. So now let's take a look at the packaging. So here is the packaging for the set, and you can see it actually looks really nice on the cover. I do love that design. They really put a lot of effort into this poly bag, but they've been doing that a lot with other poly bags. It does come with one free Legoland offer for Kids Go Free. And interestingly enough, it's just a normal like leaflet of instruction booklet, but there's a very interesting thing in here. And for Emmett fans like me, you could see that the Emmett they show in the instruction booklet is not the version that comes in the set. If you look closely, this is actually a never before released Emmett, because this one has brown eyebrows and just a smiley face that is found in this set in Cloud Cuckoo. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's really an oddity, and I don't know why they put that there. Maybe it's an early version of Emmett, because there's no version of that face, because there's no version that has the eyebrows where he's smiling like that. And other than that, it's just a normal instruction booklet, but that was extremely interesting. You can see they have an advertisement for the rest of the sets in this instruction booklet. Now let's take a look at the minifigure. Okay, so here is Emmett, and you can see his torso printing, facial printing, and leg printing just looks fantastic. I love the Emmett minifigure. Um, he does have that very smiley face, and this is the same version found in Cloud Cuckoo. Sans Cloud Cuckoo doesn't really have this little cup right here, which I don't really know why they added that in the set. I just really guessed, so they added it to like add, like to, just I don't, I don't even know why they added it there. Maybe just to raise up the piece count or something. But it's not even in the film in this scene. But you can see he has a double-sided face. The other side, he's kind of scared. And like I said, this version can be found in Cloud Cuckoo Palace. And it's probably my favorite besides Hard Hat Emmett. And maybe the one in the Mac, I'm not entirely sure. But you can see his back printing right there. Looks great. Really, really cool. And that's really it for the Emmett minifigure. I love his hair piece too, which you guys can see right here. Of course, this comes in all the sets that come with Emmett. Besides the collectible minifigure series, but it's just such a great hair piece. They really put a lot of effort into this. Now onto the set itself. Okay, so here is the build of the set. It's a very, very similar build to Thor and the Cosmic Cube set, which came out in 2012. That was also a poly bag, and it also had a rock structure and a revealing brick. But you'll see more of that play feature later. And right here is the piece of resistance. Now, if you don't know where the scene is in the movie, I would say stop watching right now because I'm going to tell where it's at. It's in the beginning, and this is where Emmett finds the piece of resistance. Right here, if you watch the movie, I didn't notice this at first, Be Kind Story 1 pointed out, though, before the movie came out. Right here is dried up glue on these one by one trans yellow plates, which is actually a really cool effect, and it actually does look a lot like that. You can see on the side right here, there's this little switch right here, which you push down, and it'll show the play feature, which I'll get to later. And here is the front again, so 360. Very, very small little piece. So here's a play feature, and here's what makes it look a lot like Thor and the Cosmic Cube, besides the little um, rock structure. If you push down here, it's kind of hard to show without blocking it. So if you push, let me see, if you push down here, there you go. The piece of resistance flies out like that because it pushes out this brick. Now, if you put it on the surface, it doesn't really work too well. No, I didn't put that brick on right because it could only go down like that, but if you really want to make it fly out, you kind of have to lift it up from a surface and then push down like that. And of course, the piece of resistance is revealed, and here it is, and it's an excellent, excellent piece. It's new for 2014. It has that little hole right there inside, and of course, that's what the back of Emmett's, or Emmett's little neck piece right here you put the piece of resistance onto there, and a, that little neck piece doesn't show up in the movie because it's just really glue in the movie. Uh, but they have to put that there because they can't really put glue on the back of the minifigure and glue this on. And it makes it look a lot like how he does it in the movie. And this is how he appears in most of the other sets besides the little facial expression. 
because he has this little neck part and then he has the piece of resistance, which is great. And spoiler for what the piece of resistance is, but I warned you, three, two, one, it is the Captain Craggle. So they really pulled that off excellent. And yeah, this is just overall a really cool poly bag. I actually think it's better than Thor in the Cosmic Cube because personally I like Emmett a lot better than Thor. I mean, I'm, I'm sure a lot of you other guys do too. But not a lot of people like Thor. And yeah, I can't really rate this set because I don't rate promos that are only available at the moment for $50. So yeah, it just is a really cool promo. And it has the best version of Emmett in my opinion at the moment. So definitely try getting it at your Lego store and try spending a lot of money because the new sets just came out. So it's going to be very easy to get. And that's it for now and I'll see you guys later. Don't forget about the Q&A. Q&A number five, live, uh, 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, February 15th, Saturday, okay? Peace out, live on YouTube, Google Hangouts.